played Zenless Zone Zero for 24 hours so we don't have to. I am curious on whether people think it's good or not. Because I know it was in a game state where everybody thought that it was ass. Besides me, I will say, I'm pretty positive about Zenless Zone Zero. I think the game is going to be fun. Obviously, I'm upset by the over-censoring of certain female characters. I don't think it's necessary. But I actually do think the game is enjoyable outside of the incessant TV overworld spawning. So hopefully they also talk about what they did with TVs. But uh, I think the game is actually pretty fun. What are you doing today? And in this video, we are going to be basically answering every single question that you're probably asking for this game yeah. when it comes to Zelda Zone Zero and the okay. CTD that we currently are in. And I spent literally all day yesterday playing, and this is why I'm able to show you a lot of the really cool things that we have in the game currently okay. and with Zenless. And first of all, that is already one change. I already hinted at basically, which before we get into that, make sure to leave a like, a sub, a comment as well. And let me know whatever characters you want when it comes to summoning on them or which characters you want to see when it comes to Zenless. Because show me the so maid with the huge boobs. And how they look. Ambi being by far one of my personal favorites. But going into it. I think Ambi's so mad. Yes, <laughs> Sorry, guys. Go ahead and one She's just because if I play all yeah, I'm good. Also, I hate this so character with my whole being that we did have earlier, which is does story do regular missions still take stamina? And the answer to that is no. They actually removed the stamina requirement for. So why the f they ever have them to begin with? Because to completely alt out or opt out of having any stamina in the story must have been a major decision. But what dumbass made that a thing to begin with? For story missions for a lot of these event missions when it comes to the explore tab, the story tab, and also the combat tab. All of these don't take stamina and all are on a first clear basis. So you still get the XP, you still get the rewards, but there's yeah. no stamina attached to it. Good. A really it's great thing be. for the game for sure because it's allowed me to play literally all day yesterday and got me to level 29, which was not- Now, that being said, now that it's not gated by stamina, people are going to burn out so quick it's insane. <laughs> but before- People were going to burn out without seeing the whole story. Now they're going to burn out after they beat the whole story. So we'll see how it goes. Now, I do think that Zenless Zone Zero is going to be much easier to make story updates for because they heavily rely on 2D animated pictures to tell a story, which is a hell of a lot easier than actually like mapping out the characters being like, oh my God, right? Because the Zenless Zone Zero animation budget is like, I feel like the animations for Zenless Zone Zero are probably the best in the gotcha space, period, right now. So, I think they're going to be able to keep up a story quite well. Not possible in the last beta, because you did have to make a choice. Either you are going to level up your characters and yep. get resources to level them up or ascend them. Yep. Or you were going to play the story. There was kind of horrible, no doing horrible that you had to pick and choose. Stamina, and now that only absolutely so game, stupid. Similar to how all the Hoyo games are, with the resources being done with stamina, with the uh, story and all that type of stuff not taking stamina, is basically the same thing that Genshin and Starro have, which is a really great thing in my opinion, and allows you to play for a little bit longer and allows you to not to waste and choose and pick either if you're going to play the story or if you're going to do resources. I think that's so great. I think that's a, a great really great change that they added already. So going into the next one, which I'm pretty sure a lot of you are already looking forward okay. to, is the banners we're going to be getting in Zenless Zone Zero. And right now we do have is this four confirmed? banners at the very start of the four? game in beta. And so I'm assuming we have the out. summon five times, get a guaranteed five star. Then we have the premium banner. Then we have the standard banner. Then I'm assuming they made a bang boo banner because I know people putting bang boos on the actual banner was dumb as shit. So I'm hoping it's now like they separate the characters from the weapons. I will be explaining every single one of these banners and also this new banner, which I don't think we've ever had in all the previous games for Koyo because- Is it actually like only bang boos can be summoned on the bang boo banner and only characters can be gotten on- the character banner? This in Genshin, we don't have this in Star Rail. And even to those that know about Honkai Impact in the yeah. Op system or the Astral Op system, I play it too. We don't have this in that game either. And no, it's not the Elf banner and the Astral Op banner because those banners use premium currency. This banner does not. This banner is tied to a event or also a daily login or some type of level what up. the fuck you can get this currency but we will be talking about that in a quick moment what does that mean the limited banner and the weapon banner these are both very akin to the star rail version of it with the limited banner being 90 pulls 50 50 you know typical hoyo gotcha yeah and the same thing with the weapon banner we also have it akin to star rails where is the 75 25 at an 80 pity which i'm very glad that we got this at least 
but there is a competitor on the horizon which we do need to talk about that's great which is weathering waves and their weapon banner is actually a hundred percent guaranteed weapon after you hit pity so i wonder if weathering waves comes out and then zealous comes out after or maybe zealous comes out before we have zero idea if that's gonna come um happen weathering waves comes before zealous zone zero one million percent i will be real i will still be playing honkai star rail i will still be playing weathering waves i'm going to play zealous zone zero i'm going to play azure familiar i'm even gonna play genshin impact but i'm not going to actively play more than one and so it depends which one i'm going to actively play i will obviously always go on crush a game get everything to max level and then beat all the new updates but i will still i, I will find one to actively play and i'll be real right now my actively gotcha game that i'm playing right now is surprisingly not honkai star rail it's actually cookie run kingdom right so <laughs> i'll just be real we'll we'll see where this game lands on the list but this change is pretty fucking nuts. Are you going to be free to play? Absolutely. But I wonder if they're going to change it to match Wuthering Waves with their guaranteed weapon banner because honestly, that's a very crazy thing to look at that Wuthering Waves is going to have a guaranteed banner after pity while Zenless Zone Zero is going to be going about 75-25 route when you hit max pity. So we'll have to wait and see. But yes, this is similar to Star Rail's version of the weapon banner. Going into the next one, which is the standard banner, which is actually a really great change which they made to the beginner banner aspect of this. The first thing for the standard banner is that you will be guaranteed a five star after five, five. multis, just there like it how is. it is in Star Wars with the beginner there banner, it yep. and it is discounted. Now, the main thing that yep. I really, really enjoyed that they made as a change is that 98 of those pulls, as you see from the bottom right, and yes, we do have a five star selector Good. for you to choose one out of the six standard banner characters. This is one of the smartest things to do because this was one of the reasons why I would log in every day for Honkai Star Rail excited that I know I can make a little bit of progress towards getting that next five star, knowing that I can pick it. Uh, very, 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 very good system. I will be real. I have no idea who this character is. I've never seen her ass. Is she new? That there are at the current moment when it comes to Grace, Rena, Koleda, Nekomata, Soldier 11, and Lycan. If you actually pick any of the three characters on the right, there's something wrong with you. You can pick any one of these after 300 pulls and your beginner banner pulls get transferred into the pity of the standard banner so that allows you to get the 300 selector out of the way it's fucking awesome honestly very quickly i can't believe really we're good. at 98 pulls that's really when good. it comes to using the beginner banner which is already 50 of him getting 98 pulls on a beta that you can't spend money on in the first 24 hours is pretty insane those pulls and then i did four multis after which got me the 98 so this is a really cool thing to look at when it comes to the pity transferring over because the beginner banner is the standard banner and it allows you to get that five star selector super super quick which is a really great change i like it it stops the dead space of a banner when you do get your five star early on the beginner banner you just yeah. leave it there because you're not building your pity in the standard banner when you could have if you just went ahead and multi on it so the fact that the beginner banner is in the standard banner and it carries the pity into the selector really really great things from zenless that's for great sure now to talk about the bang boo banner which is something we have not seen in a Hoyo game as far as my knowledge, to be honest, because this currency cannot be bought. This currency cannot be exchanged Interesting. for premium currency and go so you actually got to play the game until you get the bang boo because this currency is actually only able to be bought or able to be gotten from four star dupes, which you don't get a lot of when it comes to the materials that you're going to be getting, because for the most part, you are going to be getting these. Which they have this the banner in Cookie Run Kingdom, the signature weapon for all the standard characters, which is a and really it was great quite good. Well. They added the weapons, just like Star Wars, where they have the light cones for all the standard banner units. They have something similar as well with all the W engines being here for all the standard banner characters. And you also have the two rotating characters and the film that you can use to summon. These come from four star dupes from my understanding. And with this being given out as well, you don't get a lot of these because you mainly get these materials right here to be able to buy the tape and to be able to buy the weapons for the five star. I feel like saying it's an unpaid banner, but then you only get the currency from four star dupes is a little bit of an insane take to have because that means that this banner is the biggest whale bait of them all. So. I feel like this is just straight cap. What's this? Correction, the Bang Boo banner, the currency used to be Bang Boy Bang Oh, Bang Boo coins from the shop are not four star dupes. They come from the Bang Boo banner itself, which means it's 100% free to play polls. There's no possible way to buy them as of yet. Okay. I was say that, yeah, if only from four star dupes would be fucking terrible.
stars. Uh, these are four star dupe currency buyables. Okay. And honestly, okay, buying these bamboo coins honestly cost a lot of them for you to be able to buy them out and go ahead and keep molting. So unless you're spending an absurd amount of money yeah. to get those four star dupes, yeah. you aren't really going to be buying these bamboo coins as often. And the way to get these without buying this is actually to grind out hollow zero rally commissions and also events whether it comes to first time clears and also you do see it in your internet level level ups as well as you can see right here in the proxy primer we can see that we do get right there on the third mission complete old capital metro edge in hollow zero once we actually got one of the bamboo coins and not only that you do get it in the battle pass as well which they did add a battle pass where you see the Bangbu coin as well on level. I'm okay with a battle pass being implemented. I kind of do want to play at least one Hoyo game where I do get the battle passes just because I like battle passes and battle passes feel fucking terrible unless you actually buy for it. Like the free battle passes suck so much balls. I'm not sure if I'll get it, but we'll see. It's just kind of fun to log in and see a whole bunch of rewards waiting for you to claim and get in both rows, but we'll see. Just do a dolphin. I'm thinking like maybe doing a $25 a month uh, type of uh, type of deal. Level 13. And this is very akin but we'll to say. Star Rails and Genshin's Battle Pass. A bunch of materials. So far, we don't see anything crazy as in terms of a resin remodeler so far. But we'll have to wait and see when we get further into the Battle Pass. And that's basically it for the Bamboo Banner. Now, the thing that is a little concerning is that when you look at this banner versus Honkai Impact's Elf Banner or their Astral Op Banner... Now, we don't have it to where it's locked behind a grindable currency. We have it to where you use premium currency, which honestly, it's fine. I guess you could say that they made it a grindable currency that everyone kind of gets the same amount of pulls for. But the main thing that is an issue or something that I'm looking at, and hopefully this isn't the last draft of the Bamboo Banner, which is this banner is a 75-25. This is a 75, yeah. you may get the Bamboo, 25%, you are getting a standard Bamboo. And that's a little bit weird. Obviously, I prefer when you hit max a 100 50, zero, but 75 the 20 is you're better than the 50 Astral 50. 50 50 is so, so it's frustrating. Weird that they did make also, the Bangboos are so fucking cute. Although, I don't get why they made this fucking weird gimp, like, Dom suit, like, like bro's about to get pegged. I don't know what the fuck this bullshit's about. Or this Penguin Bangboo, they're so adorable. There's a certain amount of pity when we have a similar system in Honkai Impact and they chose to make it a 75 25 split hopefully in my honest opinion they changed this to be a guaranteed bang boom yeah it's supposed to be a devil optional, but it's in full you know, latex so it's weird as shit you in battle and you can chain attack off them which is really cool but four stars are able to do the same thing as well i have that penguin right there as the four star that we have featured on this banner as well and he's doing absolute work with my ice team because he does ice damage there's a lot of really That's cool sick. stuff that comes with these banners i hopefully will see a bang boo change because it being grindable it's cool but the fact that if I lose the 75-25 for that patch, are you going to tell me I can't get the Bang Boo anymore because I lost the 75-25 and now I'm stuck? That is pretty and fucking bad. I can't grind anymore because all the events are gone, the Hollow Zero awards are up, and all the different type of stuff. I don't know. Very weird thing for the Bang Boo, in my honest opinion, Banner. We haven't seen this in Hoyo's games, in my honest opinion, for a currency you can't literally... What do you mean? What do you want me to hear, man? Because I'm sitting here... And, and I'll be real. I have, <laughs> I have zero desire to hear anything out that you say, man. Bye. So this is weird. I hopefully will see some changes to this banner, but we'll have to wait and see. Other than that, there are a couple of things we do need to go over that are new to the game. We do have a commission system for the dailies. These dailies are super easy. They don't take any time to do in all honesty. And they give you your XP and your pulls, all the different types of stuff. Nothing really wild about that one. We also have co-op in the game, which I think is a really cool thing that they added. Yeah, what does it mean they have co-op in the game? Right, you can go ahead and match make it. Like co-op fights that right are like actually well implemented? It is a little bit hard to match make at the current moment. And they are looking for changes, which they made a post on Twitter talking about wanting feedback and talking about this. I definitely will be getting with other people trying to play the co-op and be making some feedback for you all and maybe showcase that as well on the channel. So the fact that we have co-op, really great thing. This is something in the right direction that we really want to push forward because this can open up some really fun and really cool game. How modes. does it play really though? Really cool survival-based, round-based type of modes. Oh my God, would this be such a godsend 
to have in Zenless because the combat in this game is just absolutely amazing. I can just tell y'all that right now. Is it the actually like th two teams of so three? And it's so fun versus one mega boss. Every single second that you spend on this game. And going into the last thing, which is the final question, which a lot of people are. The problem with co-op for this type of game is though, is that like phone signals heavily going to come into play and it could be fucking ass because I'll be real. Like Hoyo's co-op servers are fucking terrible. Right? So it would be nice if it was optional but not required because Hoyo servers are so fucking bad. Are probably wondering about is their TV still Wait, so you just said there's co-op and you don't explain it? Well, well Chad, is the co-op good? Is it able to be tested yet or no? Is it just like you can see it and know that it's there? Like can you even can you even do it? It is optional? Oh, okay, good. No idea. I don't know. Couldn't test it. Only people with friends will play this mode anyway. True. ZZZ co-op gameplay where you actually have footage of it. Okay, let's see it. Okay. So one dude. Alright, two dudes. There's one big ass boss. Okay. It actually looks pretty good. Yeah, I mean, obviously this is a cherry picked instance. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit pessimistic when it comes to trusting Hoyo's server quality. But right now it looks pretty good. Holy fuck, they obliterated it. Okay, yeah, looks cool. Looks good. It, it looks like it functions, at least. But we'll see. It, it at least appears that it functions. Still in Zenless Zone Zero. Why is the boss barely fighting back? Oh, yeah, because it's a Hoyo game. Because it's a Hoyo game. Because it's a, it's a Hoyo game. Now, I do want to take this in a two-part answer because, honestly, it can't be summed up in one. In the first portion of the game, coming from the tutorial all the way to the first chapter of the story, you do have to deal with a fair amount of TVs. I won't lie to you. I will be as honest as I can. You do spend your time a lot of the time in those first two chapters, spending a lot of time in the TVs. It's just that's going to be the way it has to be because they're teaching you a lot of the mechanics and there's not a lot of dead space TVs. Now, this is where I go into my next portion of it, okay. which is after chapter one of the story, the TVs become almost non-existent. Really? The TVs go down to such a considerable rate lower than what they were before that you're usually spending like 80,000 fights playing the game and maybe one TV in the middle and then now you're playing 80,000 again. Really? Like there's just so much combat now and they did bring up the frequency. Now, I don't know why they would do that because that's going to deter so many players away from the game just by having to do the TVs because they are so poorly implemented. I think that could be a massive hindrance to this game's success. Combat. And I want to make one thing perfectly clear. I want this game to do good. I love having new fun games to play, and I'll be real. Out of everything in this game that I really enjoy, the character models are obviously very hot. I fucking love the bang boos. I love the bang boos. So I want, I do want the game to be good, but it, it's going to be an uphill battle for sure. In those TVs, which is a really great thing that they did, and for the most part, a lot of the missions in the game at the current moment, especially because we have so many modes that don't deal with TVs when it comes to some of the explored uh, missions, some of the story doesn't take TVs anymore. The combat is strictly, and I mean strictly no TVs, and same with the rally commissions, also strictly no TVs. We even have an end game mode as well, which is Shiyu Defense. This is the MOC of the game, and this also really? doesn't use TVs. There's so many modes okay, now great. and so many other things that you can do in this game that put you straight into the combat and no TVs whatsoever. Fuck yeah. If I had to say the mode that has the most TVs, it would definitely be the story. And I think chapter one is- Well, yeah, that's because the story mode, the TVs are the overworld, right? Because they wanted to cut back on budget by replacing open world traversal or instance world traversal with now TV zones, right? So it was a massive budget strategy. The problem is it was implemented so fucking piss poor. It's just not exciting. In chapter two at the current moment of the story, do hold a good bit of TVs because the TVs are kind of connectedly directed with the story. But for the most part, after you beat the tutorial and after you beat chapter one, 
you don't have to deal with TVs almost at all. It's so little to the point where you are doing 20 to 30 combat modes back to back to back to back to back. Then you get into the TV once and maybe it's a one minute TV or a 30 minute TV puzzle. And then That's you go back to back to back to back to back combat. It seems I really like a like good sign of things to come. TV amount by such an enormous margin because you can definitely see it if you play cbt2 up until cbt3 there is a huge change in the amount of combat that you're doing now versus the amount of tvs that you were doing back yeah that's then. a very good side of things to change. go i do want to say although it's, it kind of sounds mean but i'm just gonna go ahead and say it i do hope they just get rid of the tv system slightly more and put it only in pivotal parts or put it in more events as a mini game or basically just leave it in hollow zero and call it that because i do think the combat in this game is definitely what's going to push this game to be absolutely amazing and be the shining light for this game to be uh what is it called casted above all the other games because the combat in this game is so good it's so interactive it has really nice combo systems being really the freedom to be able to do what you want in those combos and just have really great synergies with these characters it's just so many great things that they have in this game and i really want this game to shine i want this game to do well who was competing with genshin not zzz well the thing is with genshin i mean Wuwa will be taking away the hardcore players from the genshin Impact community but it is trying very hard to compete with the story of Genshin Impact, but it's very hard to compete with one story with another story because who's to say what story is objectively better? You know, who's to say that? Everybody's going to have a preference. Some, like that's, that will always have room for interpretation. Uh, but Wuthering Waves is also competing with Zenless Zone Zero 100% because they're two gacha games releasing at the same time with very intense combat. Right, so they are competing as well. But who's gonna? Who, what are people gonna enjoy? More intense casual combat or more intense hardcore con, uh, combat? Who, who's to say? We'll have to find out. I just want them to take away more of the TVs, even though there's basically none. Go ahead and take more of them out. <laughs> but other than that, that's pretty much it. We got the gacha system done. A lot of the new changes that they did bring um, in regards to the stamina. We have the MOC that I did show you earlier, which is Shiyu Defense. This is what I'm assuming is the MOC, because as you see, is the one stage right here. I will say, though, first on the Zone Zero, from a UI perspective, I think it looks the lowest budget of any Hoyoverse game I've seen. It just feels, this is a mobile game where if I were to look at its UI, I would say, oh yeah, this is a mobile game, right? For Genshin Impact, it feels like a console game. It feels like a PC game. This one screams, this is a phone game. And I know what you're thinking, oh, well, it is, right? Well, the other games like Honkai Star Wars and Genshin Impact, they still feel like console PC games. Here, and then we also do have 10 stages, which, of course, as you may know, this is usually the end for Shiyu Defense. There are three other tabs hidden as well. So I have no idea what that is for. Hopefully, I can get farther in the game as well. Uh, they won't change it. I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing. It just looks, it looks a little bit cheap. From what I'm expecting from Hoyoverse, with all the money we've given the company, it just looks a little bit cheap. Now, they obviously circumvent that with the animations and the fluidity in the game, in the combat, in the world. But for the menus, they look a little bit... I, I'm, not, I'm not too big on the menus, personally. Well, to be able to see what they got later on in the endgame, I'm getting pretty close to it, in all honesty, when it comes to the endgame loop, with getting five-star relics very soon and all that different type of stuff. So if you're excited for more Zenless news, more Zenless content, let me know in the comments below. But other than that, thank you guys so, so much for basically supporting me i'm sorry i've been gone for a minute but that thank you all you guys so much for watching all the way to the video yeah i mean dude i thought this fucking video was fucking great i thought it was fucking awesome uh, i'm glad you played that shit because i didn't feel like it uh, i don't want to play that shit till it comes out i don't feel like burning out on the closed beta and being like the rest of these content creators who are depressed because well they did exactly that they burned out on a fucking closed beta and they fucking hate their lives they hate their job i mean when it comes out i'm gonna play the fuck out of it i'm gonna beat the fuck out of it and i think it's gonna be good so rehu appreciate you yo go subscribe to his channel boys and uh yeah appreciate y'all catch you on the next one peace